on the last time of this shit. I got 8900, caught a lucky imp, and finished my big juicy pure essence stack by catching an ungodly amount of essence simplings. Which means we only need 76 room crafting and 95 fletching to finally exit this ungodly chunk. And now on this time of extreme one chunk, Iron Man. Uh, hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, so, last time I got finally got a huge stack of pure essence, took 55k essence implings, so that's a lot. And now uh, I'm gonna start room crafting. And I have a lot of room crafting supplies, mainly talismans and stuff, yeah, a lot of stuff in the bank. But uh, I'm gonna use fire talismans for the first few levels because it's really fast and I don't want to waste any essence because that's really valuable and uh, yeah I have a lot of fire talismans and they're not too useful right now because uh, they can't really be used for combination runes right now not until I unlock the earth altar so I'm gonna do it like this it's kind of annoying crafting them because they um, yeah you have to do it manually as you can see here so I'm just gonna do this till I can craft lava runes and after that we'll uh, start rune crafting in earnest. And here we are, we can now make lava runes, so let me uh, show you what I'm planning to do. Alright, so I got my supplies set up, got my defense cape and let me talk about rune mysteries because I haven't completed it and without it you can still rune craft, you can make the arrows, you can craft essence uh, and even in the diary it says it wrong you don't need room mysteries to to complete that because i'm not gonna get it and i'm gonna complete it because yeah you only need room mysteries to use lamps on the skill and for the essence mine but for everything else you don't need it but uh that's that cleared up and we're gonna go to a pvp world now because I'm gonna use the same banking trick I did back in the day when I was mining 120 something K iron ore. And by using my alt and the defense cape perk, which is a permanent ring of life, I will be able to teleport to Lumbridge, uh, which has a bank chest in the PvP world. And by spamming rapid heal, I can stop my uh, health from regenerating because whenever it gets above 10% HP, uh, you can't use it anymore. So if I stand here and I get my health low and I keep it low, I can use a fun weapon on my alt to hit myself and teleport back to Lumbridge. And that way I have a quick banking option. All right, so now I'm gonna punch myself down to... Uh... Okay, let's, <laughs> let's pretend that didn't happen. Um, so... I'm gonna set it up and then we're gonna try again. Okay, now it's set up correctly. Uh, let me enable my cape. And how actually do you craft lavas? Just this. Uh, yeah, I've never done this before. Okay, so you don't do it like that, but uh, I guess you use the talisman or runes on the altar. Okay, so I'm learning, I'm learning. A little bit of wasted XP, but we're getting there. Uh, so actually, let me try again to craft some runes it should work now all right yeah we got lavas and we got the uh, medium task completed very very nice let's tally back and you see how this works now i just have to do this a gazillion times and burn to my supplies for rune crafting which is okay i need xp and uh, i'll see you when we get some good levels and for the runecraft, and we can now make astral runes in uh, 1 million years. And let's just continue. And here we are, 55 runecraft, going pretty fast. Uh, the XP per hour is not too bad, uh, around 40k, so I'm jumping through the levels. 60, yeah. Uh, do we actually unlock anything? Occasion boots, okay. Interesting. And 65, 11 more levels to go, but... Uh, yeah, we're making good progress. And 72, four more to go. Almost there, but the last levels are of course uh, the ones that take the longest. Also, take a look at this. 100k lava runes. Which is a lot of not too useful runes, but who knows. 
a lucky here. I spotted a dragon imp. Uh, it's not a lucky imp, but they do give some pretty good stuff. Hoping for some prayer XP. Yes, dragon bones and a lot of dragon bones. So today was a good day. All right, so I'm uh, running out of supplies. Uh, I'm out of earth runes. I can't just buy them. I have to actually get those from Imblinks. So that's that kind of sucks. So I'll actually have to uh, figure out how to do this. And I'm gonna use my water talismans that should be more than enough. Uh, almost at the uh, level. And I got a lot of water runes. So yeah, I can do the last essence by making steam runes. So let's get to it. Look at this dude. I've been in a PvP world for like a week and this is the only time I got PK'd. So yeah, I uh, hope he's happy with his 26 rune essence and 300 uh, water runes because that's all you're gonna get from me uh, at this point. Sucks about the essence though. Uh, every essence is very precious to me. And that's it, I'm out of rune essence. Uh, I need to keep a little bit to actually complete the diary achievement. So yeah, I'm gonna do this. And after that, I'm gonna have to figure out uh, how I'm gonna get the remaining XP. It's like a few K, but uh, it still has to be done. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna go and make some fire tiaras. Should, yeah, it should take like 70 or something. And here's me. Getting 76 runecraft. Didn't take too long, but was still kind of a grind. Uh, PvP world is always kind of iffy the way you do things, but let's actually uh, get out of this goddamn PvP world and make some runes. And here we are at the water altar. Uh, let's actually craft this rune. Uh, two tasks for the price of one. So I'm never able to complete the diary after, before I unlock like almost all the map. But yeah, this was one uh, task that I had to do and it's done. So yeah, let's get uh, onto the final requirement. And that is 95 fletching, one of the highest requirements I ever had to get. But before we get into that grind, this video is sponsored by Manscaped. Manscaped is the global leader in men's grooming and for this holiday season you'll need the Performance Package 4.0. It is everything you need all in one package, including the Lawn Mower 4.0 and Weed Whacker Nose and Ear Trimmer, which have skin safe technology to protect your skin and are waterproof. And the handy LED light helps you see it down below. To help you keep smelling fresh they have the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant and Crop Reviver to prevent unwanted odors. Get this package under your tree because for a limited time you get two free gifts. The Shed Travel Bag and these neat anti-chafing boxer briefs. You can pick up any of Manscaped's best sellers at your local Target, including this 4-piece luxury leather nail kit with stainless steel tools. Go to manscaped.com and use promo code LIMPWORD for free shipping and 20% that's 20% off plus free shipping with promo code LIMPWORD at manscaped.com. And here's where I'm gonna be spending some time. Uh, I thought I could kill two birds with one stone and do some farming while I actually uh, fletch. 95 fletching so should give me enough time to do a fair amount of hop uh, seeds yeah this is the only seed i can plant right now but i do need a farming level in the future probably so best to get a head start uh, because uh, it's like 100 and over 150 plants you do four seeds per time so uh, i'm gonna do this while i do this and i need to get a little bit more handy with fletching uh, because this isn't fast enough. <laughs> uh, I'll do mouse keys or something. Uh, so yeah, let's see how this goes. It's a lot of XP per hour, so I guess at least over 100k an hour, which uh, is a lot for my standards. And here we are, the first level. Always nice to see. Um, this <laughs> does a number on my hand, though. This is uh, not too comfortable to do, but... I'll power through, like always, I'll uh, get it done. This should be it. Yeah, level 90, which means that I can actually make dragon arrows. Uh, I do have some from dragon imps and they give quite decent XP. Um, 
I don't have too much, so it doesn't really help that much, but it's a nice little break from uh, the RSI machine that is making darts. Got a nice little milestone, 40 farming. Uh, this is very bad XP, but yeah, I'm here anyway, so why not? And these seeds are very valuable to me, so I can't let them get diseased and die. So that's actually why I'm not doing this passively. I'm just standing next to it because, yeah, I don't want to lose any of them. 92 Fletch. Do we actually unlock anything or no? Yeah, uh, two things that are way off, but I feel like I have some bolt tips in the bank. So let's actually make some of those because... That would be kind of a fun distraction at this point. Got 3000 diamond ball tips. I made some adamant, uh, which I'm gonna smith into darts. And after that, uh, I'm gonna make some bolts. And here we are already. Uh, this, these should be interesting. All right. Onyx bolts give a lot less XP than I thought. I got those from like ninja imps and stuff like that. But pretty underwhelming let's see about these <laughs> also not that great <laughs> but uh, especially the diamond bolts I'm gonna enchant them and they're gonna be really really good at KQ because yeah there is gonna be an update that adds the dragon pickaxe to its drop table so I'm gonna have to go back but I have a lot more stuff right now like rune crossbow and bolts and yeah better food so Oh, and anti-poison, so that should make it very doable. And here we are, nice, very good. Uh, didn't give too much fletching XP, but I had to do it before KQ, uh, which should be in like the new year 2023. But yeah, <laughs> all set for then, but let's continue with fletching. All right, this should be it. 93, two more levels, we're nearly there. I'm hyped. I knew this would happen, but it's finally here. Uh, one million iron darts, which does mean that I'm out of dart tips. I could make a little bit more dart tips, but I have a lot of oak locks in the bank, which I'm not all going to use for construction for over 200k, but I got some oak planks from Eclectic Iplink, so now I don't need all those locks anymore. Which means I might as well use them for fletching. Um, and here we are. Yeah, so I'm gonna make them into arrow shafts and then fletch the shafts uh, until I have 100k. Because why not? Uh, arrow shafts are always useful for things in the future. And after that, I'm gonna go for the longbows. It's gonna take a lot of uh, oak locks. I think around 30k or something. But. After that we're done. And you better believe that I was farming while I made these uh, arrow shafts. So yeah, 41 farming. And after this stack is done, I'm gonna have to stop farming because I can't modder the patch because I have to stay at the bank. But that's not too bad because it's very AFK, but very low XP per hour. Darts was over 100k an hour and this is gonna be more like 30 35 before we actually get to the longbows uh got one last cheeky level here it goes 94 one more and then we're there and the last part of this video is actually from a live stream i did in which we rolled the chunk um here you can see me getting 95 and after that it was off to the bedouin camp to actually make a dragon dart and at this point, my butt cheeks started to clench. Uh, here we are actually making the dart. Long time coming. And it's actually pretty good XP too. But yeah, this meant uh, we could roll chunk. Uh, actually, there was one thing we had to do first. I forgot to do a easy clue step in Ferrock because I kind of forgot that, <laughs> that I had unlocked a little piece of Ferrock. But we did that and after that, it was off to the chunk picker. Guess we are going, right? Do you guys see? Yeah. So let's talk about this. Um, number one, let's not get that one. Of course, three pass chunk, 72 um, 
with a boost for magic tree and that's gonna take months and months because i only have two patches this one uh it's not really anything there right now but it puts me really close to this the farming cape chunk so let's not do that um this would be okay but it puts me close to cooking guild and which is not that scary but still and of course this i don't put code here this is the absolute death chunk the uh cape room crafting cape this used to be a skull chunk because it had puro patch but we just completed puro so now it's kind of good but it just puts me closer to moon crafting so yeah there is a master farmer here though so that would solve my little problem with this patch i think because i can then use cactus patch and tree patch and the hops patch and it should yeah it should speed it up a lot this one yeah puts me closer same story nothing here mage training arena i forgot to add that one uh, some time ago so that was really stupid but uh, yeah we're adding it now it wouldn't be too bad of a problem to roll it there is a 99 hit point scape but i'm already a 98 so who gives a shit <laughs> um yeah desert pretty empty this one Unluck 12 would be pretty cool because then we can go maybe to Narda or something. And of course Temporos. I want Temporos. I need this chunk and then this chunk. And then, yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Eleven. Ooh. That's empty. Okay, so we're saved. <laughs> gonna we're gonna go over there in game. And we went there and it was empty except for a desert lizard, but I don't need anything from them because I already have Mystic Light Loves, which they drop. So I could kill it with a uh, boost, plus two prayer boost from those Slayer Respites. And someone else actually came in and killed it with an ice cooler, which works. It's the same thing with rock slugs or something. So yeah, we did that uh, little trick again. But yeah, there wasn't too much to do in this chunk. So we immediately went back to the chunk picker. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> Oh no, it had to happen, it had to happen. Um, oh, sorry, I'm... <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> it had to happen, it had to happen. Oh. Well, that's um, that sure is interesting. Doing chunk rolls with the lads is always fun. Uh, but we waddled our way over to the dual arena and there we saw what we had to do uh, of course first the 99 hit points cape which isn't too bad because i'm like 600k from 99 so i should be able to knock that out quite fast and of course also this is the chunk with the mage training arena so i will need all the items that you can get all the rewards uh, which is like a i've read online like 40 hour grind probably something more as uh, peak efficiency isn't always my thing but it should be a nice little little grind not too bad should be able to knock that out before the new year but uh, i have all the runes i need from puro but i don't have enough nature runes uh, you need like 12k i have 8k so that's kind of a problem i need to solve but but i need 99 hit points anyway so i can kill giant frogs which drop like almost one nature room per kill so yeah i could get a lot of nature runes that way and of course train my hp at the same time there were also some tasks that i could immediately complete like this chop a magic log uh, which was also an elite task and also enable smite at the dual arena so 
we did that also so two knocked out in one fell swoop but that needs to be done on the next time i'll knock it out as soon as possible and a special thank you to aka roommate luke gaming the coded lar tyler contrino lp kellner the akbars justin lorty vapor atlas k uim evan afk over efficiency andros any young windrunner snockball one rides love county unsliced high class low life 465 then tilly Loxins, dynamite epic duck penguin meat Matt Skisten, Blomkol, Anno Bartens, Drake Olsen, Hackery Remu, J Balls, Kurnai, Cam T, Sam, X2 Light, JVH92, Cardo Sivadi, Charles Kelman, Ipsnius, Apex Eternals, Rennick, Brandon Nielsen, Callus, Iron Wire, Medical Spud, Jonathan Fukanen, Reese Bender, Zerno, Sidestar, Dries van Varenberg, Bash T, and Ultimate You, as well as the other patrons you can see on screen right now. Thank you all very much for your support and I'll see you on the next time.